My name is James Reeder, and uh, I've been in the music business for all of my life. I was a, uh, a piano major, a music major in college. I found that most people really didn't have much idea about rebuilding pianos when I started. And the simple reason is that the pianos were, new pianos were so inexpensive. So, so when you got tired of your piano, you just bought another piano. As time went on, the, the cost of instruments went up and all of a sudden the older instruments become very valuable. The result is that uh, we could have a business in restoring pianos that was successful. My name is Brian Taylor. Um, I'm a piano restoration shop manager. I've been doing pianos for over 30 years. Uh, my main thing here is I actually create, design, install soundboards. I just get a lot of variety. I get to do a lot of different things. And here at Readers, um, I get to work on a lot of nice big pianos. That's one of the nice things about it in particular. Uh, they come from all over the U.S. And it's, it's nice to work on a nice piano versus a bunch of cheap stuff. <laughs> the beauty of the whole thing is that that's usually about a third of the cost of a new piano. Because of our, our experience and are dedicated to quality. We have a, a tremendous amount of work this way and, and doing some of the finest pianos that were ever built. The most rewarding aspect is actually the end product of that, making the piano, you know, whole again and making it look like um, restored to its original value, its original look. The historical aspect of some of these pianos, we work on pianos um, that come from museums, that, you know, go to movie sets, um, things like that. Every piano has a story to tell. P taking piano lessons is a very important aspect of, of, of for a student, a young student. We enjoy what we do, we love what we do, and hopefully some of these things will last for many years, and who knows what's going to happen in 50 years from now. 